Geo's going places. We know we've seen the new Husk of Opulent Dream set and how it changes Noel and Albedo. Goro's coming out in the future. Another primo Geo support in Arataki Ito, but we're not done yet. There's another banger on the horizon. We're going to go over Yunjin today. And let me tell you, there hasn't really been a character that I've been more excited for in a while. I like Geo. There's another Geo character coming out, and this can be a four star character. And man, works well in Geo teams as well as non Geo teams and does a lot of stuff to support your team here. And if you like this excellent play style of shielding counter attacking character, this character is right up your alley. Let's go over her elemental skill first here, the whirling opener. Now, if you've played with Beto before, this is basically Beto, except it scales off of your defense instead of your attack here. So just like Beto, you're gonna have a shield, but because you're a Geo character, as you're holding that guard, your shield is gonna absorb not more damage to Electra like Beto's does, but more damage to everything because you're a Geo character. So everything you do is just better. This shield is also gonna scale off your HP and it has two different charges, charge level one, charge level two here. Obviously charge level two, the more damage you absorb, the better you're going to counterattack with. And we will get to it, I'm gonna spoil it for you. Yes, she does have a perfect counter just like Beidou does. So if you take her all the way to talent 10, 671% of your defense, this is going to be the multiplier there. If you get the constellation to get that extra three levels of this, you're gonna have a 792% defense multiplier. Now this is just absolutely absurd, especially as we see the new Husk of Opulent Dream set, the more defense oriented, artifacts and characters like Goro. This is gonna be hitting for tons of damage out there with Geo Resistance down from Zhongli times two Geo Resonance. If you like that counterattack style gameplay, this is gonna be awesome here. Also has a nine second cooldown, but this will also get reduced if you get some constellations for her, but we'll touch on those when we get there. Now, the other thing I wanna to touch on here is gonna be her elemental burst, the Cliff Breakers banner. Oh my goodness, this thing is magnificent. So what you do here is you activate this and it's gonna have an attack scaling damage thing, which we don't really care about too much, 400 to 500% multiplier, but no, we are here for the supportive aspect here. Now, this is gonna be just like what we've seen with the Cinnabar Spindle or the soon to be released Stone Thresher here, the Red Hone Storm Thresher for our Taki Ito. What this does is you're gonna apply the Flying Cloud Flying flag buff to everyone in your party. So your active character, when they do damage with normal attacks, very important, normal attacks, not charge attacks, but normal attacks here, you're gonna be doing additional bonus damage based off of Yunjin's current defense, which is gonna be quite amazing out there. Now, if you have this talent level 10, 57.89% defense added to everything that you do here. The duration is 10 seconds, and each time you land a hit on one enemy or multiple enemies per enemy hits, even if it's just one attack, you're going to take away one of the charges, and it starts with 30 charges. So if you have Noel out there, you do that wide sweeping swing, you hit five guys, that's gonna take five of those charges away. And add at level 10, a 57.89% defense mod from the defense of Yunjin to the damage of your active character, whether it's Noel or Arataki Ito, or you're trying to do big damage with Zongli, anything like that, it's gonna be based off of her stats here, which is wild because the R1 Stone Thresher is a 40% defense mod, and that weapon is pretty dang good out there. This is a 54% defense mod. If you get her constellationed up, you get this to level 13 talent, 68.3% defense mod additive. An R5 Stone Thresher is 80% defense. This is 11.6. 64% or 11.66% defense mod lower, 68 instead of 80. This is like having almost a free R5. It's like an R4 Red Hone Storm Thresher as a character in your party has a 15 second cooldown and only a 60 energy cost. So this is awesome. 15 second cooldown, 10 second duration, 30 stacks, you get 30 of these added effects here. This is gonna be very easy to keep up full time with these metrics here. So I'm very excited for these two abilities. Counter attack, big damage there, and then also big support with the Cliff Breakers banner, her elemental burst. Now her two ascensions here, we have true to oneself here. This is the perfect counter for her E. So just like Beto, you get that counter down as you are about to get hit, you activate it, 
instant full shield, instant full counter, ready to rock and roll. So you're gonna be able to absorb that damage temporarily. The shield does not last, it's just like Beidou's shield, but you're gonna absorb that damage and get that full counter off, okay? Which is gonna be awesome here. And then the second one here makes her a little bit flexible if you don't wanna run her in mono geo teams. Maybe you have, you know, different elements in your teams here. No mere traditionalist, which is really not the tradition in Genshin Impact. Your normal attack damage bonus granted by the flying cloud formation buff is increased by 2.55, 7.5, or 11.5% of Yunjin's defense when you have one, two, three, or four different element types. So the more diverse your party is, the better this ascension gets. Don't worry too much about this one. You don't need to run like a four different member, right? Different element team out there. You can run her in mono element with mono G if you want to get that free 2.5%. You can run her in, you know, double G or double pyro, get that 5%. You can run her in a full four element team if you want to as well for the 11.5%. This is just gonna be a little bit of added flexibility. This ascension isn't the craziest thing in my opinion, but it is quite nice. Now let's go over a couple of her constant as they are right now and is so excited for this character the first one here decreases the cooldown of whirling open or her elemental skill by 18 percent so it's going to take it from like a nine second cooldown to like a seven and a half second cooldown which is very nice big damage big temporary shield block there hold up your enemies and hit them for that 700 and something percent defense multiplier which is gonna be amazing out there. The second constellation here is characters under the flying cloud formation. A buff deal 2% increased attack damage after your normal attack hits enemies. This can proc every 0.3 seconds and you get 10 stacks of this. So you can get 20% increased normal attack damage, which is awesome during her elemental burst. So the elemental burst is gonna have those, right? Extra defense multipliers added to your attacks. This is gonna buff up your active character's damage for normal attacks, and you're gonna get a double whammy up to 20% there, and you're adding, you know, extra damage on there based off of Yunjin's stats. I love this. Obviously, the C3, Cliff Breaker's banner is gonna get three extra talent levels. Now, the last three levels here we have C4 Ascend Cloud Hanger. When Eugene triggers a crystallization reaction, her defense is increased by 20%. So that's gonna allow you to maybe play her with a another non-geo character, right? She can work with different elements very well. And this is going to allow you to have better damage on your E as well as have extra damage from your elemental burst because that is also based off your defense. So small little bump up there, but also pretty nice. C5, obviously, Whirling Opener, which is gonna be her E, is gonna get three talent levels there. And then C6 is going to increase your attack speed during her elemental burst. So characters under flying cloud flag formation get 12% normal attack speed for 12 seconds, which is gonna be awesome. If you have her at C6, you're gonna get attack speed, normal attack damage up, extra defense for her. So she does more damage from her elemental burst as a support, more damage from her counter every seven and a half seconds. This character looks super fun to play. She is a polearm character out there. So there's gonna be a lot of cool polearms out there. The death match is gonna be a very nice four star weapon for her because not only does it give attack percent but a lot of the times if there's more than one enemy she's also going to get defense percent the whole low attack on deathmatch doesn't matter so much because all of her damage is defense based you get a super high crit rate and free defense at the same time from the deathmatch which is going to be awesome obviously you can slap staff at home on her just for the good old giant crit damage if you like that one as well so i'm looking forward to this character there's a lot of cool stuff coming out there is geo defense oriented stuff she can work well with goro she can be a very strong support for Noel, or Ataki Ito is a little bit different because he's not just the normal attack spamming guy, right? You have to keep that in mind there as well. He does do a ton of charge attack and charge attack damage. And the other thing about this character, she's not locked into Geo, right? If you want to buff up her damage or something like Goro, you can go ahead and do that, but you can also put her in some other team, use her with, right, Eula, right? Add extra damage to your Eula carry, add extra damage to your Razor carry, give them attack speed, give them normal attack up. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with Yunjin, and I think she is a very well-developed character. I cannot wait for her. Let me know what you think about her down below.